<laughs> Welcome everyone to Off the Cuff. I'm Adam Banks. Thank you for listening to the show. Nelly is in the studio with me. Nelly, how are you? I'm great, Adam. Hey, everybody. Hey, it's been a long time since we got to come back on here. Oh, I know. We've had so much going on. We we have so much to talk about. And uh, Nelly, I just got a question for you. Yeah, we're taking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> You dig food. I ain't, I ain't. <laughs> no, I'm just a kidding with you. Uh, there's so much uh, been going on now that we have to start the show off by talking about Bruce Jenner is no longer. He no longer he exists. He is now Caitlyn. He is now Caitlyn Jenner. So we will refer to Bruce as her and Caitlyn. But did you get a chance to see her photo shoot at Vanity Fair? Caitlin? I didn't get to see the whole thing, but I saw the, the cover. Yeah, yeah, the cover. And I didn't know who it was. He- and I, I I didn't even get it at first, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Yes, I know because I sent you a text. I, thought, I said, "Do you know who this is?" And you said, I "Have no idea." Yeah. And then when I told you that's Bruce Jenner, what did you think? I said, "She's beautiful." Yeah, that's exactly what you she said. She is beautiful. You know who she looks like? She looks like uh, you, you've seen Grey's Anatomy, right? Getting rid of the Doctor Herman. Do you know the, the? You remember the girl that played on? Uh, um, oh, the one that used to be on before. Um, Grey's Anatomy. That's, that's or after Grey's Anatomy. Oh, uh, the private practice, Kate Washington? Yes. Yes. Not Kate. It's yeah, that's the one name. that was married, Had the she was pregnant with triplets at the end. Oh, I don't know. I didn't watch the show. Is oh, that who she looks like? She looked like spitting image almost. I thought, I thought that was who it was at first. <laughs> that is. And I kept looking and looking. And I said, that's not her. That's crazy, though. You know, and then all of a sudden it hit me, and I was like, oh, "Do you think I that think she is absolutely gorgeous?" Do you think that Caitlyn's going to date men? I or wish women? I looked like that. Do you think Caitlyn is going to date men or women? She says women. I don't think that's going to happen. Well, I think she's going to end we'll up with see. a man. Now she's keeping her uh, too bird. many. She's keeping her bird, and uh, she's going to keep it. Or since that's what she said at the time. At the time, so do you think she'll lose it? I don't know. I don't know, but I sure think she's beautiful. She's, then you know they took her her bird and they shaved it off in the Photoshop. Do you think that's weird, or do you think? Well, they, somebody should, told me that transvestites took them, mm. but backwards. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that, so I don't know what they did. I mean, transvestites. I don't really care. <laughs> I just think she's gorgeous. So you think that she had it tough? And I'm so happy for her. <laughs> I am too, though. You know, she is. She probably feels. Freer than she's ever felt yeah. in her life. As as Bruce, they said that he was just a miserable person, and you know, she just imagine that's what who she wanted to be her entire life, and she had to live like Bruce. I mean, I, people people don't stop to put they just ooh ah. Uh, uh. It could be your child. It could yeah. be your grandchild. Absolutely. It could be one of your family, and you don't know that they uh, cross dress. <laughs> I mean, it could yeah. be anything. And people should not... We're not here to judge. Right. God judges us. Yeah, everybody, uh, especially like locally, like I've been hearing so many negative comments. But, you know, we got, you got to realize where we're at. We're in the South. Well, Kentucky is not the most liberal place to be. One thing, guys here. think they can't really have a positive opinion of for her. I, listen. Most guys. I have done nothing but speak freely and and just open mind minded about this whole scenario what do you think i've been talking about this whole story this bruce jenner story since the beginning i'm a big advocate for him and i i'm a supporter and i'm proud of you and I, adam and thank you and i i just think that every and the reason i'm supportive is because every single person has a right to be who they want to be. That's what I And said. who are you? Who who are we as a, to tell as them a they society, can or they can't. as people, as human beings, to tell them that they can't or shouldn't act that way or shouldn't be Or like that they're that. any less of a person. You know, you posted a video the other day on Facebook of a little boy who committed suicide. Mm-hmm. And uh, his, he, he kind of told everybody on his last day he was going to kill himself. And nobody kind everybody kind of shrugged it off. Well, his and, parents told him he couldn't. Yeah. He, he, he told them he wanted to change he wanted to be a girl no i'm talking about the video that you maybe it wasn't you that posted this it was a yeah it was you it was a video of a boy that shot himself and his mom was giving the interview he went home and shot himself and he caught his buddy and his told his buddy before it happened he got off the school bus and told the bus driver you didn't watch the that's video. that's what he did yeah but he, he didn't say he wanted to be a girl it was just he got bullied 
No, you're thinking. Uh, well, you're thinking about two something. Of them. There's it two must have been. You post a lot of sad stuff on there. Well, I want people. I want it to be known what it does to people, what it does to their families. They haven't just hurt that person. They have hurt his entire family, uh, yeah. all his friends, yeah. people that loved him. Yeah. God loves him. Absolutely, and everybody. I, I'm just a big advocate for. Um, stand up against bullying and stop bullying I think it's just the most disgusting thing to bully somebody it's just disgusting to me yeah I and you know that's I hope that Bruce just lives the rest of his days no, I mean Caitlin, Caitlin lives the, lives rest, the of rest of her days happy content yeah not afraid to do things and yeah. go places and just for her to finally be who she's always wanted to be. Yeah. It just makes me want to cry. Did you know that Kim Kardashian got pissed because she announced that she was pregnant and she got mad at Bruce, or I'm sorry, Caitlyn, for stealing her thunder? Is she pregnant again? Yeah. And she got, you, oh, and that she, ain't true. She, I don't believe she that. She got mad at Caitlyn. Yeah, that's what they're saying. But they're, I don't believe that because she loved her. Right. They love each other and right. she was the most supportive one. Right. Remember, she said, "Girl, you got a rocket." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. I mean, I just—I like, mean, she—I she looks beautiful. I just think the whole thing is just unbelievable. But uh, Nelly, I'm in the uh, search for a house. I'm looking in the market for a house, and um, I'm—you know—should I move somebody in with me? Should I move? Well, you know how you feel about your them. religion and all that, right? What your family thinks, and right? I I would never I'm you know I would never live with somebody that I'm intimate with. I right. just I don't believe in it. I think that you should um, be you know, married. I, I think that you should be married. And and number one, the biggest you know not just my religion and my belief because it is my belief that you shouldn't live together before you're <laughs> married. You know I believe that it's wrong in the eyes of God. Right. And it's wrong to keep deliberately sinning. You know. Uh -huh. But anyway, like. Number two, my my dad. Right. I mean, my dad is a you know a pastor of a church. He's a preacher. I'm not going to disrespect him like that because I'm not going to live with somebody. And the mother, the one that gave you life. Well, yeah, but you know, it's just yeah, it's just one of those things. So, um, no. You be single. I I just would yeah, and uh, and of course yeah, my mom. I wouldn't want to disrespect her like that. I think mom is more understanding. But dad is just very understanding too. But I just it would just he wouldn't say anything. But it was just, it's just very disrespectful. I'm a very respectful person towards my parents. I know. Honor thy father, father and thy mother. And thy mother, though your days will be lengthened. Uh -huh. The Lord that spoke. That's biblical. Right. You will live a longer life if you obeyed your parents. That's in the Bible. Yes. <laughs> so you gonna live a long life, Nelly? You obey I don't your parents? know what mom probably would say. It would be a little short. <laughs> Daddy would say, well, of course. What about Mary Elizabeth? She live a little while. <laughs> She'd probably be going with me. <laughs> that's hilarious. But no. That's but just... Kenna mm -hmm. is going to be at the highest, one of the highest points. Yeah, because she's, going. she's obeying, she's obedient. Yeah. But she's, here she she's, goes here, ladies and gentlemen. And I always try to tell her. Hold on. She says something. We start. Uh, we Nelly start to get with her mouth movements. Like I, she I think it's something you all, and I feel like if I just don't spit it, spit yeah, it but, out, but, I'm gonna but you, go nuts. But just what it sounds like to me, it's just right over the mic. And you go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you go. Well, guess I'm what? Like, it's not. not. <laughs> well, it is. I'll try to stop. Back to that question. You, 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 <laughs> Will you stop? I can't even. Th that was. I don't even go out with nobody. Uh, huh? I don't go out with nobody. You know what? You told me that you had like a really like crazy thing that happened to you. I was thought I thought that you found you a man. No. In Louisville, it was a man that I cared a lot about. In Louisville, did you? No. Did you? Any no, we didn't go anywhere. We you were too tired. You didn't go out, honey. We were working. We were moving. Yeah. It was awful. Hot. God. And then it got colder than heck. It really did. I like to froze to death. It really did. I said, what happened? Who turned the heat off? Where did you go? 
Well, I went to Louisville. Oh, to spend time with your uh, my cousin. cousin hey, okay, the Jeff fun. We did. did we you had drink? a ball. We got tired. We drank a little bit. You drank a little bit. <laughs> we drank a little bit. <laughs> Smoked some cigarettes. Not too many because we smoke outside. Oh, she don't like you smoking inside. Uh-uh. Why? She wants to try to quit smoking. I see. I need to do that too. You know. Are you going to stop? I tell you, I, when I walked in after this apartment being closed up for my apartment being closed up for two three days, oh. <laughs> what? It smelled like a big ashtray. <laughs> I said, oh, Lord, I got to get somebody to come in here and really clean this place. <laughs> and, <laughs> and turn the senses on. <laughs> you know, cigarettes used to be so accessible. Did you see my new? No. Well, see your new back? what? My new candle. No. Cigarettes used to be so accessible, like... They made it so easy to be a smoker back in the day. Ashtrays in your car, front seat, back seat. When the bad thing for me was growing up, it was supposed to be cool to smoke. Yeah. So, everybody, start, everybody smoked. You started smoking. A lot of people smoked. Yeah. Smoking's fun, though, wouldn't you say? Well, yeah, until you get my age, you can't breathe no more. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for listening <laughs> to the show. Nelly Off the Cuff has been crazy. This is our 65th episode, and... I put together a bunch of clips and sent to uh, KSR for the guest host. I had to make... No, 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 no. That, I'm sorry, I told you wrong. I already sent in those clips. I sent this, our clips. You remember the radio deal I was telling you about? Yeah, yeah, Well, it yeah. still is in the works. But now the program manager contacted me two days ago and told me he wanted a clip of Off the Cuff. And he wanted like 35-minute clip snippets. Right, right. You're in most of them. We're talking about all kinds of crazy things. Me being naked in campus. <laughs> <laughs> talked about the accents. Well, my arms are. We talked about a lot of things. You know, we just... So, it's in the hands of him. If he likes it, we're going on the air. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for listening to the show. Nelly. Bye, everybody. Do you like that news, though? What news? Oh, yeah. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> that's pretty good news, ain't it? Yeah. It really is. Yeah, thank you for listening, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) We will see you (laughs) in the next episode. I I love this. What are you doing? I'm trying to make it swing like this. Take your ponytail out. No, I want my hat. I hate this my ponytail. We'll just rock to it. Here we go. Here we go.